guys subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon so you never miss a video from us when we post them on a weekly basis so yeah subscribe to the wikipedia So hey guys, it's Pondon back with another video and today I'm gonna show you how to install Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 8.1 Oreo on your Moto G first generation 2013 device. So let's get started. So the prerequisites are that you need the ROM of course. So go ahead and go to the link in the description below that will take you to this website the pixel experience org So go ahead and go to Moto G 2013 and download the ROM itself. You don't need gaps uh, Externally this file has gaps in build it So that's a good thing I would say and after I've downloaded it just uh, go to your file explorer and just click the properties to make sure that the file is okay and then just copy and paste it in your phone's internal device so that you can use it to flash it via the TWRP recovery oh and also another two requisites are that your bootloader must be unlocked and you need to have a custom recovery like TWRP recovery or clockwork mod recovery or fills recovery or anything of that sort so that's up to you but you need to have a recovery and i will be using twrp recovery so yeah so let me just show you first that i am on cyanogen mod 13 based on android marshmallow 6.0.1 so as you can see and now let me just go ahead and show you that i have root access to that's not necessary in this case but yeah this now you need to go to your, the fast boot menu of your phone you can do that by switching off your phone first and after the phone has switched off press the volume sorry the press the power button along with the volume down button and hold them simultaneously for about six to seven seconds and if you do it correctly the fast food menu should appear and if it doesn't appear just keep on trying or press the buttons harder for five to six seconds or count till seven seconds and after that you will be in the fast food menu like this so after that press the volume down button to scroll down and then select the volume up button to make the selection which you have made in, in this case this is the recovery and press the volume up to go to the recovery and this will direct you to the TWRP recovery now mount the internal storage if it is not automatically done and so as you can see here is the pixel experience rom so first of all take a backup of your device and after that go to wipe and select everything except internal storage and otg you heard that right yeah internal storage and otg must not be selected other than that everything should be selected like the system data dalvik cache and cache so after that just swipe to wipe and your phone will be formatted without the os and make sure to take a backup of your rom every time you do this kind of thing because it's a very risky stuff and oops what the hell is this uh, just kidding that was error 7 which you might get if you don't have twrp 3.2.2 or above if you have a version of twrp prior to this like 3.1.2 or something like that which i had while i was shooting so i got the say, error 7 error error 7 error <laughs> just kidding so after that you need to have twrp 3.2.2 and above so that it is compatible with the audio flashing procedure and so after that you can just install the rom like click on the zip and just swipe to flash and after that just wipe your dalvi cache and cache again and then just reboot your system and if you have done everything correctly then you will be treated with the pixel boot animation which is found on the pixel 2 and which will be followed by the setup wizard and the rom itself and you this is a total aosp rom which has been ported to other devices including this moto g device so that's why you have this and the developer has made sure to include the pixel 
good animation along with every pixel feel that you can get on the original picture pixel phone so yeah as you can see it's a complete pixel device now so i'll just go through the setup wizard and complete it and i'll be right back with you guys after it's done So as you can see this is the pixel launcher completely stock with no bloatware whatsoever this device has little storage that's why the gaps included in this rom is very limited you don't even have any uh, any google apps other than the bare bone frameworks and the internal system apps which are required so now going to the settings as you can see it's the new layout and you might be familiar with the oreo stuff if you have viewed my lineage os 15 unofficial video and if you haven't checked that out i will link it down in the description below along with in the top right corner so you can click here and we'll take you to that video so as you can see this is the octopus easter egg kind of thing and this is the new 8.1 oreo icon so that's there and now going to system updates let's see if any update is there or not probably not because this was the latest at the time of installing and so now as you can see the security patches of 5th february is really nice you get the latest security patch and every time you want to update this rom you can go ahead in the website of the of this rom and just download the latest rom and then go to the twrp recovery just wipe your dalvi cache and cache before flashing the new rom and then just flash the new rom and reboot your system and you will be good to go your data will not be lost and as you can see the picture i can take the picture so the camera is working a nice thing and let's see if the video is working or not should work uh, let's just start up to record um, so yeah it's recording hopefully it's recording so thanks you should be thankful to the developer that everything works on like the lineage was 15 where half of the things didn't work but at that time audio was really new and it was bleeding edge software so now it has got time to optimize and the developers have got time to build this for our devices especially the older devices like the moto e 2013 which has a 32 bit processor and one gigabyte of ram so yeah this runs smoothly it runs very smooth than as compared to no gutter marshmallow but i don't know how will it perform after installing heavy apps or like that so now let's change the wallpaper a bit and see how it looks and if this works or not because sometimes it doesn't work i've heard from a lot of people that some roms have wallpaper setting problems so no problem as of now there and bluetooth and wi-fi is also working cellular network is also working no problems whatsoever and this is the launcher settings i'm not interested in that and these are the new pixel nav bars which totally look like the pixel 2 device and that was the new power off and reboot menu and standard lock screen and this trans semi transparent white color notification panel and so i am really impressed with the work that the developers have done on this and really a great job by the developers it's very smooth as compared to other audio builds that i have tried but should you install this on your moto g first generation device uh, i don't think so because this runs smoothly but after that i install a couple of apps i know that this phone will start to lag just because of the fact that apps are getting more heavier and more resource demanding and the 
CPU is not able to cope up with that and along with the 1 GB of RAM that it has but if you use this device as a secondary device like a calling and little bit of WhatsApp or something like that and you don't mind little bit of lag so I will definitely assure that you can install this on your phone and have the latest audio version so thanks for watching guys hope you like this video if you did then give a thumbs up to this video subscribe and I will see you in the next one